Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional. And today we're going to continue on the one-on-one -on -one with Jesus conversations. And today we're going to be covering um, Thomas and Jesus and their um, talk together as he comes in and sees uh, Jesus after his resurrection. And so we'll be getting to that topic. But first, I would like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray he's your Lord and Savior too. <clears throat> All right, but before we get into the topic, we're going to sing today's scripture song a few times. So let me go ahead and get this set up. I usually do this beforehand, but uh, we'll go ahead and get there for the 17th. All right, so today is the 17th of June, and today's scripture song will be from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. So if you're just joining me, <clears throat> excuse me, and you have your Bible handy, you can turn along and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty and myself as I press play on the CD here. Amen. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Proverbs 4, 14 and 15. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, and from it, and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Enter not into the path of the wicked. And go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it. And pass away, enter not into the path of the wicked. Amen. All right, let's do that one more time. Verse 4, 14 and 15. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Amen. Go not no, we shouldn't the enter into the path of the wicked. Avoid it. Pass not by yeah. it. Turn from it and pass away. All right, one more time. Here we go. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Amen. All right, let me put that back to the beginning, and we will do that a couple more times towards the end of the broadcast. But now let us go ahead and dive into our topic on the one-on-one -on -one with Jesus for today, Wednesday, June 17th. And it says here in John 20, verse 24, 26, and 28, But Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came, and after eight days, and Thomas was with them, and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. John 20, verses 24, 26, and 28. And after we're done with the devotional, we'll go back and uh, get into the actual account so we can read the whole account so you know what uh, is happening here. But I'm sure he'll explain most of it in the devotional. But I like to read the account in the Bible too. So, amen. All right. So our... Author today again is Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio. And let's get started here. He says, Our verses have set the scene for doubting uh, Didymus to have his fa uh, faithless reservations dashed by the 
Revelation of the Conqueror of Death and Hell, Jesus Christ. I'm sure we all understand the skepticism, perhaps born of grief and dis dissolution, uh, dissolution of his dreams of Jesus solving the nationalistic desires of the Jews. Right, so uh, most of them, most of the disciples saw he was uh, there to set up his kingdom, but he kept telling them that he was there to die and be buried and rise again. Uh, so continue on, he says here, not realizing that his kingdom was not of this world, was devastating at first light, but glorious when seen from Jesus' pers perspective and ours. And so let's go to John 18, verse 36, and read this verse here. All right, so John 18. All right, go here. John 18 and verse, what did I say, 36? Let's see here. 36 says, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. And so, amen, that was that verse from John 18, 36. All right, let's continue on. It says, It does not appear that Thomas ever placed his fingers in the nail scars or put his hands or put his hand in Christ's riven, riven side or driven side, even though the Lord asked him to do so. Thomas immediately recognized his lordship and expressed the truth that Jesus is God. See Hebrews 1 8 for confirmation. So Hebrews 1, 8 for that confirmation. All right, so let's see here. Hebrews 1, 8. Make sure I'm going here. Hebrews 1 and verse 8 it says, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Amen. So that was uh, Hebrews 1 8 for confirmation. And let's continue on. It says, It really seems to be a one sided conversation with just five words uttered from perhaps the near muted, trembling lips of Thomas. One thing I am really glad about as a Christian, uh, Brother Tim Green says, is um, in these days, uh, these last days, is what Jesus uh, said to the doubter in verse. 29. Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Friends, that includes you and me, the redeemed of all the ages past into the early days of the 21st century. You and I have never seen, but by faith, even the eye of faith, we have seen and believed to the saving of our souls. Amen. So it's better to uh, not see and believe. Amen. So that's uh, the end of that topic. And so let's go ahead and read the account here from John chapter 20. If you want to turn along with me, we'll read John chapter 20. And let's see, where does it start at? He says 24. All right. So this is uh, chapter 20, verse 19. And this is after the... Uh, account with Mary Magdalene, and it says here in chapter uh, 20, verse 19, Then the same day at evening, beginning, uh, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where, where, the, disciples, <clears throat> where the disciples were assembled for, the, for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Amen. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent, sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost, whose soever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whoso, uh, whose soever sins ye retain, 
they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. Amen. So that's the account there. Praise the Lord. And that will uh, end it for our devotional part. And now let us go ahead and read the Chronicle or the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. I keep wanting to say Chronicles. But uh, 1 Corinthians, and we'll be in chapter 3 today. So if you have your Bible handy, turn with me to chapter 3 of 1 Corinthians. And it says here in verse 1. And I, brethren, this is Paul speaking still, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife, and divisions. Are ye not carnal, and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase." So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Amen. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For other foundation can no man lay that then that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and fire shall try every man's work of what sort it was. If any man's work abide which he had built uh, thereon, or thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him be a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come 
all are yours, and ye are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Amen. So that is the end of chapter 3. Amen. And so what we were talking about there is talking about uh, rewards, not uh, losing your salvation, because you can't lose your salvation, that you'll still be saved, but uh, you won't have any rewards to cast down at Jesus' feet when we get to the judgment seat of Christ. So we need to make sure that we're doing uh, those things for the Lord the right way while we're down here on earth. And so uh, keep that in mind. That that's talking about the judgment seat of Christ and not about losing your salvation, as many people try to say. It's talking about uh, those works you do, whether they be good works or bad works, after you're saved. And then uh, if you get good works, you get rewards to cast down, uh, that they get cast down and, um, and given to you, and then you cast them down at Jesus' feet. And then um, if you don't get any rewards, well, you're still saved, but uh, you'll just be... Uh, Smelling like smoke, as uh, Brother Ed was talking about last night. <laughs> Had a good conversation about that. So, praise the Lord that uh, we're always saved until the day of redemption. Amen. When we get our new bodies, our uh, heavenly bodies. Amen. And go be with the Lord. All right. Well, let's go ahead and sing this song again from Proverbs chapter 4. Okay. Here we go. 4, 14 and 15. And the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. And turn not in the wicked wisdom. Are you still there? I don't know what happened. I lost connection there and it wouldn't come back on so I had to turn my Wi-Fi off so apologize about that but uh, let's go ahead and try this again don't know if uh, any of that got recorded but uh, we'll go ahead and try it again hopefully this works not sure why I lost connection but uh, must be a lot of interference going on so let me try this again here we'll go back to uh, um, the song from uh, the scripture song from yesterday so if uh, if you lost me, I apologize about that, but uh, let's go ahead and sing this song again, start from the beginning. All right, here we go. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom Amen. is the principal thing. <clears throat> Therefore, get wisdom, and with all of thy getting, get understanding. All right, we'll try this again. Hopefully we uh, stay here. Thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Amen. All right, we'll do today's one more time and we'll wrap it up. Proverbs 4, Amen. 14 and 15. Enter, Enter not, not into, into the path of the wicked, and, and go not, not in the way of evil men. Avoid, avoid it, pass not, not by it, turn from it, and pass away. away. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Amen. All right. Well, that's about uh, it for today. But let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song and uh, the topic for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be in Proverbs chapter 4 again. And we'll be uh, singing verse 23. It says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Amen. So 
Proverbs 4.23 for tomorrow's scripture song. And then we'll be continuing on our topics of one-on-one -on -one with Jesus. And it looks like tomorrow will be our last day for that topic. And let's see here. Um, looks like we'll be uh, talking about Saul um, and his encounter with uh, Jesus on the road to Damascus. So hope you'll come back for that tomorrow. Amen. So that'll be our one-on-one -on -one with Jesus tomorrow. Amen. All right. Well, again, I apologize about losing uh, the connection there. I don't know if it got recorded or not, but if it did, I apologize. If it didn't, I apologize uh, still. So, but we got through it. Amen. And, um, well, till next time, may the Lord richly bless you and you'll you have a great and wonderful rest of your Wednesday. And remember to come back later on for the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Psalms. Amen. All right. Well, remember, Jesus saves, so believe on him and thou shalt be saved. Till next time, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.